When you drive the car, it's so low to the ground that you feel like you're going a thousand miles an hour. So my name is Jeremy. Um, I am part of the University of Waterloo Formula Motorsports team. Uh, I'm the drive line lead for the team and I'm also part of the powertrain systems. Uh, also one of the drivers for the team. It's a student design competition where we design, build, and compete uh, with an open wheel style race car every year. Um, so we go to a competition in Michigan and we compete against over 100 cars uh, from all over the world. Basically the university is kind of our biggest supporter for the team. Um, so there are several engineering organizations within the university um, and also the university helps us provide by providing all the spaces we need. Um, so we have our team bay, uh, we have our machine shop, uh, we have all the certified uh, technicians that are kind of working with us as well. Um, so the university plays a very large role in helping keep the team alive. When you drive the car, it's so low to the ground that you feel like you're going a thousand miles an hour, uh, even though you're only actually topping out at about 120 kilometers an hour. But you're so close to the ground that uh, you're going, you feel like you're going so fast. You're going around really small tracks as well, so that helps, that makes you feel going even faster. Uh, and you're kind of always pushing the limits, you're always trying to go faster, uh, all while trying to listen to what the car is telling you, uh, as well as trying to control a car, trying to stay on the limit. Uh, we have marshals at certain points around the track with fire extinguishers so that in the event of a fire, uh, people are ready right away uh, to signal to you that car's on fire if it were to ever happen and run to your safety. Uh, but when you're actually driving the car, you're not really focused on that because of all the preparation we've done beforehand, because we have a lot of trust in our team and you're really just focused on driving and going fast. So my name is Morgan Judish. Well, my role on the team is basically suspension lead and technical lead. Um, so basically I designed or helped design the suspension system and helped orchestrate um, the vehicle integration this year. So the main uh, reason as to why suspension is important is that the only uh, interaction that there is between the car and the road is the tires. And suspension basically enables the tires to have as much grip as possible with the road. If we were to, let's say, not have any suspension, then the car would just skid all over the place. So we're really here to just make sure that the car performs to its best. Before a race, usually we'll look over data. So we'll make sure, okay, what kind of bumps will we see on the road? Then with that data, we'll be able to then go to our, what we call our uh, tuning sheet. And off of that, we'll be like, okay, I need to tune my dampers such that they have this response rate or my springs such that they're this stiffness, such that the car is maximized for these track conditions. So teamwork is extremely important, especially when it comes with this car. Um, the reason being is, you know, everybody's a student. And so we all ha already have, you know, 40 hour, uh, you know, study sessions or study weeks. And so on top of that, we now have to put in, you know, 20 hours a week on top of this car. So there's no way that a single human could design the whole car on their own. So we definitely need, you know, everybody doing their own task and make sure that we have strong teamwork to get something out of it. I'd say the most memorable moment I've ever had was actually seeing this car run or when the drivers for the first time, when the drivers told me this car has insane grip. So initially when we were designing the car on paper, it was just a fever dream. It was, okay, the goal is to make the fastest, the lightest, and the highest downforce car the team has ever made. And somehow we pulled it off and this car basically is a rocket ship. My name is Vivian and I am the business lead on the team. Without business, I would say a lot of the different aspects of the car wouldn't run. We help manage, like first and foremost, the cost of the car. So make sure you have enough money to acquire parts because we can't run the car if we can't have the parts to build it. But also helping with promotion and media because we would like to make sure that our name and reputation is withheld within the community and reaches new sponsors, students, and or just people in the community who, just wants, who are passionate about racing sports. So making sure that the team survives long term I think is one of the important factors of business. Well, money comes from a different, few different avenues. So one is the school, the University of Waterloo does help us significantly through funds. They help provide money, they provide the resources here in this building, they provide machining areas. So that helps us save costs or acquire new cash 
donations that way, but also through sponsorship acquiring. So we can take advantage of a lot of our alumni networks, but we also have to do a lot of cold calling or cold reach out, just see who in the community is interested in helping. And there are a lot of people that are interested, you just need to reach out to them. So I think there are sometimes emails that go left unread, but there's also a lot of leads that get pulled through. So overall, that comes together to help acquire enough money for the team. We first and foremost use a lot of different social media channels. We have Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So we try to create content catered to each of those. For example, for our YouTube, we try to make a build video every other year or so. For our social media, we have a lot of sponsor posts. We have a lot of just in the know what's going on in the team kind of posts. So we just make sure we try to post frequently because that just gets the word out. We have members follow and share. So I think that's like on the digital front what we try to do. In terms of the in-person front, we attend events. The school does host a lot of conferences conferences or they host a lot of recruitment events but we've also tried reaching out to different local car shows to see if we can show up and just have our car on display as well so it's a bit of a mix of in-person as well as digital platforms. My name is Amina, I'm a fourth year mechatronics engineering student and I'm the uh, electrical lead so that's overseeing all of like the electronics sub team basically. The car itself is electrically powered so we have a battery pack um, and all the electronics essentially manages the power that comes out of the car, but then also all the functionality on the car because it's electrical. So we have, um, I think about 10 different types of boards on the car, and that's a rough estimate, and they each have different functional purposes. So the electrical team is in charge of sort of maintaining them, uh, changing them if it's required, because we, we follow like a rigorous set of rules so all of the electronics has to be safe, but then also with the proper functionality that's required as well. There are a lot of different things you can learn from everyone else on the team because everyone's sort of specializing in different things. So it's really interesting to sort of, you can just ask them, hey, like what, what are you working on? And it doesn't have to do anything about electronics, but I'll learn a lot, which is really interesting. It's, it's always cool just because like engineers are always trying to learn stuff um, and it's sort of like, in our career, we will never stop learning. So it's really encouraging that mindset, which is great. My name is Sanya Jain. I'm an aerodynamics member. I've been part of the team for two years now. And my role is mainly design. But at the same time, I'm also mentoring a team uh, where we're doing design of the underbody, mainly the under tray and the rear diffuser. So in aerodynamics, mostly what we do is we're trying to increase the improvement of the car by making the CLA numbers, which is the uh, lift, uh, and then CD, which is the drag coefficient. We're trying to basically increase those, and our target every year is to somehow improve it at least by 50% by changing the whole aerodynamics package. Um, what it concludes in uh, aerodynamics package, it's the front wing, the rear wing, the under tray, the diffuser, and the side pods. So I am this year leading the design for the under tray as well as the rear diffuser, which really helps reduce uh, the air pressure under the car so we can get a better performance and also like the car can be faster because it's, it's streamlined in a way that it can pass through air much faster. Actually, there was a recent thing that happened when we were in competition this year. Basically, what happened is our tire inlets that basically go right after the tire were very close to the tire. So when the tire would turn, it was very close that it could potentially touch the tire or even cause a tire burst. So in that case, we had to, for example, shave it down a bit and scrape that. In terms of safety, something that we have to be very careful about is when our driver drives, that they, when they go into, let's say, the um, a cone, let's say if they hit a cone or something like that, or if there is a crash, the nose cone is something that really prevents. It has a structure which can take most of the force and it can rupture itself so it collapses on its own so that the driver doesn't feel much of a jerk or, you know, as it's uh, much of the G-force, if that's what, uh, what you understand. Being an engineering student itself, like currently in my class, there's 90 men, to 10 women, which is also like a very bizarre ratio. Um, I think being a woman that actually has voice, can speak her own mind and is confident is what University of Waterloo and this team also really fosters. So being a woman in engineering and also being a woman where it's like, you know, male dominated sections, I think it's just, you need to find your voice and you need to be very passionate and you need to be good so you can prove why you deserve to be where you are. 
And I think I have that confidence, I have that drive, which should help me get where I want to be. This year, uh, we actually made the design finals and we were told by the judges that that's the best aerodynamics presentation they've seen by far. And the biggest achievement was for me to learn from my mentor, our ex-aero lead, Daniel Ingraselli, who currently works at Red Bull Racing as an aerodynamicist. And I think making the design finals in over a decade after a decade is a huge achievement. And our aero package, for example, this is the first year we've introduced an under tray and rear diffuser that we've never had in the past 50 years we've been running. So I think that's a huge achievement coming, making, and also implementing. My name is Zach Samet, and I am the chassis lead for the uh, University of Waterloo Formula Electric team. Uh, my job is to design uh, and manufacture the chassis, pedals, brakes, um, everything that's not suspension and powertrain, that's mechanical. The timeline is very interesting for chassis, uh, particularly looking at the frame, because in order to finalize the frame design, uh, you need a lot of the other systems to also be somewhat finalized. Uh, suspension mounting points, powertrain mounting, uh, all of that stuff before you can finalize your design but then manufacturing needs to be done very quickly because all the assembly is dependent on the chassis being finished before you can really start assembling things on the car. Honestly, uh, I can't think of anywhere where I've learned more than working on a Formula SE team. Uh, and you can pretty much talk to everyone, all the other interviewers, they'll tell you the exact same thing. We've learned more here than anything in school. Um, met a lot of great people, uh, definitely opened up a lot of doors for me, uh, things that wouldn't be open to me if I hadn't joined.